That's a cute outfit. Did your husband give it to you? No place like home. Those wings carbon fiber? Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. I missed the part where that's my problem. Hey, Spider-Man. Hey, man. What's up, Mr. Stark? Spider-Man. Who am I? I'm Spider-Man. Hey, guys. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to my series of Spider-Man reviews leading up to Spider-Man No Way Home, which is coming next week. I can't wait. I'm so excited for this movie. Today, I am reviewing Spider-Man Homecoming. This week, I have Spider-Man Homecoming. The next week is Spider-Man Far From Home. And then, goes right into No Way Home. So, can't wait. I'm so excited for this. So, the point is, Peter Parker is balancing a life as an ordinary high school student in Queens with his superhero alter ego, Spider-Man, one of the biggest villains of all time while trying to save New York City. This is when I start seeing Spider-Man movies in the theatre. Um, so I have a special place in my heart for this movie um, and these Tom Holland movies in general. Um, and in the theatre, seeing these in the theatre, it was just great. And Tom Holland is one of my favourite Spider-Man um, of all time, um, along with Tobey Maguire. And also Andrew Garfield, but all um, of them, I would, if you say who's your favourite, I couldn't say, I couldn't say if it was Tom Holland or Tobey Maguire. Um, Tobey Maguire, because I grew up with him, but Tom Holland is pretty much my number one, because this is, I saw, Civil War was my first Marvel movie I saw in the theatre, and Endgame was one of the, and Far From Home was one of the last Marvel films I saw in the theatre until Black Widow. So, basically, this is one of those movies that I like more each act. This movie takes place after Captain America Civil War. So, you understand Peter's motivations because you want he wants to impress Tony Stark. He wants to become an Avenger. So, I think that they did a great job at incorporating Spider-Man into the MCU where you get MCU references, you get references to Black Widow and Iron Man, and you see Captain America, and you get Tony Stark in this, you get Happy, and you also have, like, um, the mess from the first Avengers movie, and Tony Stark having the Uncle Ben role, and Tony made Spider-Man the suit, which makes a lot of sense if you're incorporating him into the MCU. Why not make, why not Stark makes him a Spider-Man suit? Um, and then we've got references to Uncle Ben in this movie. Like Pierce says, we can't tell Aunt May that, that he is, that I'm Spider-Man because of everything that she's going through. And in the next film, we get Uncle Ben's uh, initials on his suitcase. And I'm hoping that in our way home that we actually get to see Uncle Ben. Well, it's more likely that we're going to get get them in the freshman year, but I will. I would hope that we see an alternate version of Uncle Ben. It would be cool if Tobey Maguire played Uncle Ben. It makes sense with having Marissa Tomei being that young and like yeah, Toby's not, um, like, young where he was in like two thousand two, but he would fit right along with Tom Holland and. Marissa Tomei, it would just be fantastic to have that. And now, I want to talk about Zendaya's character. Zendaya's character, Michelle Jones, it's... Now, first, her name. I don't mind the change. Um, they want to make reference to the character MJ, but because Mary Jane is a marijuana reference, they, I don't think they necessarily want to do that. So I can't get the change. Um, so there's that. And but this movie, she is very different than what she is in Far From Home. But they were trying to figure some stuff out with the characters. Like Ned is, um, like. They're all better in Far From Home than they are in Homecoming because this was their first like big movie on this scale and they were still trying to find their footing for their characters, which I get. 
Um, and it's strange that they don't inc- uh, introduce Gwen Stacy, but they do introduce Liz Allen and Ned Leeds and Betty Brant and not Mary Jane Watson, but uh, Michelle Jones' MJ and just wanted to, I just want to point that out because like Betty Brant, like if you follow the TikTok for the Daily Bugle on uh, in, on YouTube or on TikTok, Betty Brant is now part of the Daily Bugle and also Flash, um, when you see in the teaser trailer, you don't really see Flash in the second trailer, but in the first teaser trailer, you see shot with Peter, Ned, MJ walking towards uh, college, and Flash is behind MJ, so he's blonde, and like, so they're all trying to become, trying to carry something from their comic book look. MJ, uh, like, the Dash characters are still the same, which I'm fine with. Um, but they don't introduce Gwen Stacy, but hopefully in this one, they do introduce Gwen Stacy. Like, even if it's like, he sees her and has a quick conversation with her, that would be okay with me. Um, but what would I rate this film? I would definitely give it a Spider-Man. I love all the Spider-Man movies. I think by re-watching these, I do like the Toby ones the best. Um, and these other ones, like, the only worst one to me is um, I mean, see Spider Man one, but other than that, things like Into the Spider Verse, like it's definitely on my lower, uh, uh, on the lower uh, side of uh, my rankings, but it's still pretty good. Um, but if you watch my um, Spy uh, Spider Man Across the Spider Verse uh, trailer reaction, um, I give reasons. Um, to why I don't really love it there. I give reason to it in my Spider-Verse uh, review. I like I, I like Spider-Verse. I don't like The Amazing Spider-Man 1. I love The Amazing Spider-Man 2. I, love, I like Homecoming. I love Far From Home. And I love all three Raimi Spider-Man movies. So, yeah. So, I'm excited to see these stories advance. So, guys, please hit the like button down below if you haven't already. Hit subscribe. Also, hit the little bell icon to get notified of future videos I make. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye. Hey there. Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon.